Hmm. Have you found the scientist? He can be found on this top secret space station. Hmm. <laughs> Not so top secret anymore! After all these years, revenge will finally be mine! <laughs> Control, this is shuttle number one, ready for landing. Start landing sequence, over. Sea landing successful, shuttle number one. Uh, it's a Saturday, Brett. Put the homework away. When I just about figured out the answer to Mr. S's impossible equation? Yes! Nothing's impossible! <laughs> High five me, little bro! <laughs> Over homework? In your dreams, pal. Hmm? Well, if our mascot was our man, but the little old guy's gonna stop his jam. Bra, bra, fire, fire, time for Flip to retire! We will, we will, Miss Flip! Miss Flip! We will, we will, Miss Flip! <laughs> On, people, enter the replace flip contest now. Come up with a new school mascot, and you can be the proud winner of a free Yoko paperweight, my highly popular Yoko size video, <laughs> and last but not least, a life size Yoko robotic dance partner. I think your dance partner could use a little resuscitation, Yoko. <sighs> I've been trying to come up with prize ideas for two weeks. I really thought this stuff would be a hit. Uh, here, this should cheer you up. Ooh, no way! The Nine Inch Nanobots! I scoop free tickets. Their concert is totally gonna... Come up with a new school mascot and win a free ticket to see Nine Inch Nanobots! Sign up now! <laughs> Yoko? I can't believe it! No fair! Me neither. Who knew that band was actually more popular than me? Hey, you know what would make a great school mascot? Future Tech's new coveted and out of our uh, price range Slam 3000 security droid. Amazing, huh? Uh, Principal K, I think we need a friendly, fuzzy mascot, not one that can overpower students and toss them into a containment cell. I knew this competition was biased against faculty. <clears throat> Marshals, I need your services. It appears that a scientist has gone missing from the top secret space station. Well, he probably ran off to some sort of nerd fest convention. Hey, Brett, where do you think that might be? Uh, gee, I don't know, Josh. Let me contact my vast nerd friend network and see if they've heard anything. Wow, you really have a nerd friend network? I've already sent Miss Roscoff ahead to scout the sector, but I want you to recon the space station. Consider it done, sir. We'll find this man of science and bring him home, safe and sound. She didn't like my security droid suggestion. Some people are beyond pleasing. Ignition check. Hey, Yoko, you know what I think would make a great school mascot? What? A blabber squad from Planet Murphaws. They're so friendly and ass-scaly. <gasps> uh, yeah, I'll get back to you on that one. Hey, baby, you ready to go here? All system clear. Well, then let's make like candy in a pinata and bust out of here. Department Space Hub! Wow, a nerd research facility. Go figure. Hey, Nidraxian scientists revolutionized our universe. Name a piece of technology, chances are they designed it. Really? Did they design shoelaces or nose hair trimmers? The potato peeler. Gah. <laughs> 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 it's too quiet in here. Principal K's mission notes indicate that the research scientist and a security droid were the only occupants. I hate it when it's too quiet. It creeps me out. It makes me want to talk, make noise, fill the emptiness, but... Yoko, be quiet. But why? 
But a slam 3000 to be exact. This model is virtually indestructible. Whoa, somebody actually managed to override its security function and replace the interior circuits with bananas? Weird. Are you sure the droid didn't just overeat? Maybe someone sent him a nice fruit basket. So, what you're saying is whoever did this has to be pretty smart. Mm. Even smarter than you. Oh, uh, let's not get carried away. The lab is down this next hallway! <laughs> Guys! You better keep an eye on Nerd Jr. while I check out this hole. Oh man, a macro module! Jack this puppy into your brain and you become like ten times smarter! Unbelievable! This is incredible! Oh, yikes! Unless it's a new highly effective Zit formula, I'm not interested. This can't be! It appears that Nidraxia was working on teleportation! Ooh, teleportation? Can I use it to explore unknown planets for rare and exotic mascots for our school? They were on the verge of a major scientific revolution! And I'm on the verge of a mascot revolution! <gasps> Look! Fizzy Rocks! I love Fizzy Rocks! <laughs> Yo, go! <laughs> ah, Fizzy Rocks with a kick. The universe's first tasty yet powerful explosive. Hey guys, check this out! What is it, a clue? Either that, or they just have a bad janitorial staff. <gasps> Go ahead, Principal Kirkpatrick. I need you to scramble your Hornet. Miss Roscoff is under attack. I'm downloading her coordinates to your ship's computer as we speak. We're on it. You're a good pilot, and your banana is fast, but not fast enough for Roscoff. <laughs> away from a banana? Brett, open up a communication link with that uh, flying piece of fruit. Take out that banana, Yoko. All systems engaged. We don't want to risk hurting Ms. R. Brett, how's that comm link coming? I'm getting an image now. Whoa, that's one freaky looking monkey. The fun's over, my furry friend. Turn off your thrusters or we'll turn them off for you. You're in violation of Section 8, subparagraph B of the Galactic Code of... I have no time for intellectually inferior life forms. <laughs> Did that monkey just call me an intellectually inferior life form? Open fire, Yoko! Evolved motor skills. <laughs> On space, please. What was that? I still can't believe you called me intellectually inferior. Uh, uh, Brett, get over it. I need you to navigate me through this. Oh, okay. Dear left. <laughs> Reverse thrusters. Oops. I guess I meant you're right. <laughs> he totally made monkeys out of us. What do you mean he got away? 
Brett, you explain. I've got work to do. Well, you'd better find him fast because I just got a report that two more people and three aliens have gone missing. Uh, Brett, look at this. It's a hair from a common monkey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the alien piloting that banana was no common monkey. Exactly. It's a hair from a common monkey, but it's highly evolved. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, did you find those records I was looking for? All the missing people worked at one time or another for the Nidraxian Experimental Research Department. Hey, cross-reference the DNA from the hair with Nidraxia's records. The hair matches the DNA records for Simeon Six, one of their monkeys. Hmm. Roscoff to Galaxy High, come in. It appears I've been captured by large monkeys. Miss Roscoff? Do not have much time. Transmit the coordinates now. Miss Roscoff? Did you get the coordinates? Roger. <gasps> have this instead. It's better for your health. They are coming for me. Oh, and for the record, you reek. Really? I used a new hydrating body wash this morning. <laughs> Mizar's Defender, and the Banana Ship. Who would think something so tasty could be so destructive? cream pie in less than three seconds flat. Now that's quality science. Guys? I just accessed the scientist's computer log. Hey, Brett, why can't you ever invent useful devices like pie-making machines? Mm. The missing people! Simeon Six, the Nidraxian monkey, went missing during an interplanetary teleportation experiment years ago. The scientist's coordinates were off, and they teleported him through a neutrino field, turning Simeon Six into a super monkey. Yeah, heightened strength, heightened intelligence, and telekinetic powers. And with his newfound powers, he wants revenge. What makes you say that? Hey, isn't that Miss Roscoff? <sighs> yeah, but younger, and with a poodle perm. before Simeon Six returns. Yes, quickly, that primate has it in for me. Gee, I wonder why. Miss Roscoff, I can't believe you. I had no idea Nitraxi was conducting such horrible experiments. I just answer phone, serve coffee, play solitaire on computer. Um, actually, I was talking about your hair. A poodle perm? What were you thinking? What do we have here? Let them go, Simeon Six. These are innocent people. Oh, I beg to differ about the prisoners and Mrs. Roscoff's hair. I rather liked it. It is no use. I already check. He'll never let us out of here. We're doomed. Okay, you only make that noise when you know something is extra geeky. What is this? An advanced teleportation device! Very quick for a creature with such an undeveloped brain. I'll have you know that I have an official IQ rating of 200... 315 and a half. Fine, I'm inferior. <laughs> the time has come. Now you will all know what it feels like to be teleported to unknown destinations the way you did to me. Well, they didn't mean for it to happen. It was an accident. A terrible accident! Once I have exacted my revenge, I will liberate all monkeys everywhere. No longer will they be used as guinea pigs. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I think I'll liberate all guinea pigs, too. 
Actually, that's one cause I support. Perhaps you'd like to join me in my mission. I do believe I'll need a research assistant. No dice, champ. I hate to break it to you, but you're one funky monkey. Uh, I'd make a good assistant. <laughs> bon voyage. Everyone grab something quick! I can't hold on, Josh! Our team can't afford to lose that much brain power! Oh no! We'll never find him now! Oh. There's no way I'm going back to Galaxy High without him! around let's get out of here this monkey means business but so do we Revenge! I demand revenge! <laughs> okay, the monkey tantrum thing is getting really old. If you're still civilized, start acting like it. Are you done yet? <laughs> this could be the most delicious mission we've ever had. <laughs> Good work, Marshals. I always thought that monkeys looked so happy swinging from tree to tree, but that's one angry monkey. Well, I hate to admit it, one really smart monkey, too. I kind of feel sorry for him now. Hmm, you know, with little anger management counseling, Simeon Six can help with our space program? Excellent suggestion, Miss Roscoff. I'll make the arrangements. Attention! <laughs> That'll be all, Marshals. 
<laughs> so, Yoko, you still stressing over the mascot, Sitch? Stressing? I'm doomed! Galaxy High is in serious jeopardy of being dangerously unpeppy this semester. Well, stress no more, because we've got the perfect mascot idea for you. You do? Tell me! Tell me! What do you expect me to do with that? Come on, Yoko. You look awesome as a monkey. You could even juggle bananas. Get that thing away from me. Galaxy High, yeah, yeah that's, that's our school. school. Shake your tail, because monkeys, monkeys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>